Welcome back to my channel everyone, here with a look at a mod that was recently dropped. It is made by Happy Mole. It is the modded greenhouses. So these ones take seed, fertilizer or manure and water, not just water like the base game ones. Um, just here to show you a little, um, I don't know, what could you call it? Um, Farming Sim 22 life hack, storage hack, I guess. I don't know if it's a hack or not, but this is what I discovered. So this is the large one here. I've also got a large one placed over there, but this is where it gets curious. So what I found was if you place this one, just like normal, I'll open it up, as you can see down in the right hand corner of my screen it says the capacity for the large greenhouse is 20,000 litres of water, 3,150 litres of seed and 3,150 litres of manure. So I'll just jump in here and as you can see all the green bars there under building storage right there says all green bars all full. Yep that's the capacity. Cool, too easy got that all full we can then turn that on and get it to run and produce our products the other thing I discovered is over to this one now which is exactly the same it's a big one manure goes there water seeds the difference is this one it's a little bit closer to my silo now now this silo is from the French building farm buildings pack. Um, it is a multi-fruit silo. I'm guessing this would work with any container or silo as long as it'll hold manure, water, seed and solid fertilizer. Either one of those four. Or if you had to, you could put two containers down like a standard silo and then um, a water tank as long as they held those four ingredients so your seed your water your manure or solid fertilizer as long as you can get a container to hold those this should work and what it actually does is these two this close together their storage capacities are now combined so this silo holds is it two or five million liters? Or just jump in here and have a quick look under silos. Five million liters for this silo for 30 grand. That's not a bad buy, really. So the five million liters storage of the silo combined with the standard silo of that would then hold five million and twenty thousand liters of water then 5,003,150 litres of your manure and seed. Interesting. So, if I come here to the truck, I'm over here, see I've parked over here by the silo. So if we start, turn the truck on, we start unloading the water. As you can see, the capacity is going up in there. The greenhouse also come all the way over here to the silo is going up in the silo as well now we've just passed the 20,000 litre mark very interesting we now have 49,000 so basically 50,000 litres of water in here I've already put the manure in here we have two 146,850 litres. That's really cool. So if we now jump into the truck and we go to the trailer full of our seed to add our seed connect up to the trailer start tipping our seed there it goes, we can see capacity is going up for the greenhouse. Yeah, over 100,000 litres. We come over to the silo, it's still going up. Now we are going to stop at, there we go, 250,000 litres of seed. 
we are full. 250,000 litres of seed. So in saying that, we'll just move these out of the way. they're out of the way guys we can now come into the greenhouse we have 49,999 litres of water 250,000 litres of seed 246,850 litres of manure and our red bars aren't even close to being full so this thing is going to take 5 million litres now of all of those ingredients so you can basically endlessly run these things if you had the money to fill up 5 million litres of those ingredients. So you could run tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries to your heart's content. Um, I don't know if it will help you out on your farm. don't know if you want to play this way with your farm. just thought I'd point it out, show you guys that you can increase the capacity of your greenhouses. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't mind it. I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to glitch anything out or screw anything up. So you can just keep now loading into your silo and it'll go into your greenhouse as well. Um, and yeah, if you take out of the silo, I'm pretty sure it takes out of the greenhouse as well because it is sharing the capacity. So I'll just grab this and we'll take the seeds out because that's what I've got in here and we'll see if it drops. It should drop in the greenhouse. So we start filling, it's dropping, go here and it's yes it's dropping so oh, it's sharing capacity. We'll stop that. We'll unload this back into here. There it goes, filling up the silo again. Also filling up our greenhouse. That is really cool. So if you put your greenhouse set up not far from your silo, you can put so much more product into these and just have them running all year round. That is so cool. Um, yeah, like I said, if this doesn't interest you, you don't have to do it, but we can turn on tomatoes and strawberries. Oh, wrong one. I've got to use strawberries and tomatoes. I've got to use a manure set. So that's now running. We are storing both of those. They look wilted and dead for some reason. I don't know why. But just bear with me guys and we'll fast forward the day. Okay, now that we're back we can see that it is working. They do yield just like normal, very high. We have strawberries and we have our tomatoes. So that is running. I don't know why everything looks wilted and dead for some reason, but it does. It's weird. Anyway, it still produces here. That's very interesting indeed. Um, just thought I'd show that guys that we're increasing the capacity of our greenhouses. Um, very, very cool. Uh, I like I said, don't know if it'll help you out on your farm or the way you play. It may not interest you, but if it does, I just thought I'd put it out there and show everyone. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So if you did want to just stock up all your stuff in your silo and then just let your greenhouse run and you don't have to really look after it, 
too often then yeah place it next to your multi fruit silos and it will just pump out your products non-stop especially if you get decent amounts of your products in there like that 70,000 litres of water 265,000 litres of seed and 250,000 litres of manure and away it goes hope you like the video guys hope it was informative enough for you wherever you are hope you're having a great day evening and good night wherever you may be i'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching